Volcanoes are complicated and they're all behaving in slightly different ways. And so it's useful to be able to look at different aspects of what's going on and to be able to put the information together to come up with an understanding of what's happening. The purpose of VDAP is to make sure that volcanic eruptions don't become volcanic disasters. Our focus is to support volcano observatories through a combination of in-country or virtual support during volcanic eruptions or unrest and long-term capacity building through donations and training. In eruption forecasting, we have a variety of different tools we can use to measure processes that we can't see, things that are happening beneath the surface. And the best forecasts bring all of those data together to try to create the best, most complete picture we can of what's happening beneath the surface. So a multidisciplinary forecast is a forecast that combines seismic information, geodetic information, gas emissions, infrasound, even visual observations, cracks that are opening at the surface, sounds that people are hearing, putting all that together to create a complete picture of what's happening. Monitoring volcanic gases is really challenging, and there's multiple reasons for that. The goal is to have something that's small, relatively inexpensive, uh, that doesn't take a lot of power, that is going to give you data with high analytical quality, that's also going to survive in some of the harshest environments on Earth. So our volcanoes tend to be 10,000 feet tall, covered in snow and ice, and very inhospitable and difficult to get to. And so what we did is we built a lot of automation into our instruments. And so, for example, our instruments, we deploy them uh, with full meteorological stations, so we understand the wind direction and how that might influence the gases that are being transported to the, to the stations. Um, we also deploy them with uh, standard gases. And so rather than a technician uh, having to go up and check that all the sensors are working, it does it automatically once a month. And so we leverage that technology in order to get data that is objectively of high quality, and it also reduces the manual workload on our small staff. I've been working in Indonesia for about a decade now, and I've helped our counterparts there implement volcanic gas monitoring at a number of very active volcanoes. At Cinnabung, we found that gas emissions decreased in the days leading up to explosive events. We attributed that decrease to a sealing of the conduit, uh, which led to pressurization and eventually explosion. And we were able to use that information, the decrease in gas emissions, to develop a probabilistic forecast for an explosion occurring on any given day. Since the geochemical monitoring techniques are relatively new, there's a lot of need for assistance with not only instrumentation, but also expertise on how to use the instruments and data interpretation. VDAP has generous support from USAID, which allows us to help our partners in implementing these types of monitoring techniques for geochemical processes. And so besides donating instruments to our partners, we also sponsor workshops and organize those where we bring together volcanic gas geochemists from all over the world to train on instrumentation and also talk about data interpretation and how to use these data in conceptual models and eruption forecasts. One of the ways that we assist the community is to try and develop good protocols for the entire volcano community in all countries. And we can bring them together and we can talk about what's the best way to report data, how do we communicate our findings with the public, what's the best protocols to have in the case of a crisis, we can work on alarming software, so all sorts of things that we can do as a community that benefits everybody.